Thank you, moderators, member of panel, and all attendees, ladies and gentlemen. I am Esther Simon Ngamba. I'm working at the College of Business Education in Dar es Salaam City in Tanzania, in Africa. I'm here to discuss the impact of artificial intelligence usage based on the digital rights of children between 6 to 12 years old. Uh, currently, many researchers done on the use of artificial intelligence to improve child and youth participation in daily life activities, which is a key rehabilitation outcome. This is by Karen et al. 2021. AI is the ability of machines to perform tasks that are typically uh, associated with human intelligence, such as uh, learning and the problem solving. Application of AI includes advanced web search engines, such as uh, Google search, uh, recommendation systems used by YouTube, Amazon, or Netflix, Understanding human speech, such as Siri and Alexa, AI, grammar checker, and writing tools, for example, QuickBots, uh, generative or creative tools, for example, ChatGPT, and the competing at the highest level in strategic games, uh, such as uh, Cheese and Go. Who is a child? In this discussion, are basing on children of 6 to 12 years old. This group, they have different interests, abilities, and personalities, but they also share some common milestones. While growing physically, mentally, emotionally, and socially. Also, they are curious and eager to learn new things. UNESCO library publication discussed that one in three internet users globally is a child. They said that organizations working to advance our children's rights to promote well-being need to understand how to reduce the risk of harm children face online while maximizing their opportunities for learning participation and creativity. According to the different studies, say the AI systems are fundamental changing the world and affecting present and the future generation of children. The digital rights of children, according to the UN conversation taken place on November 27, uh, 2021 about human rights, they focused on six areas of rights such as access, freedom of expression and information, accessibility and association, participation and play, privacy and data protection, education and digital trust, protection and safety, consider, considering international human rights convention like the UN uh, Convention on the Rights of the Child and the, the European Conversation of Human uh, right. AI to children. Regardless of location of all resources, AI generated can also offer access to instructional materials. In response to teacher shortages, a virtual uh, character for teaching uh, sustainability to grade school students were successfully tested in New Zealand. Uh, healthy promotion, treatment, and interaction with the modern uh, generative AI can support issues and a variety of, uh, of other areas of life and they can be customized for each person in ways that are difficult to achieve with the real uh, humans in those positions. This, is, this was uh, analyzed by Patra Nutopon at all 2021. AI facilitates education for children. Children can learn good things with the support of AI. For instance, in our country, 
Tanzania, the Ringa and the Dar es Salaam, W-A-H-I, that means we are the hope of Iringa. In their uh, newsletter posted how they facilitate a connected classrooms uh, campaign through a virtual class, a virtual classroom where students from Dar es Salaam and Iringa shared and they challenged the ideas and the knowledge that they learned through the club session. Uh, impact of AI to children. AI is an important technology that can affect children's rights and security in both positive and negative ways. Risks expose children to online harms, such as uh, sexual exploitation, misinformation, and uh, radio, uh, radicalization, for example, porno and uh, territory movies. This can harm uh, children, whereas it affects their uh, mental health, uh, safety, and their uh, development. Uh, this may be happen sometimes from family level, for instance, by watching television and ethical uh, and ethical channels if parents or caregivers are not control them. For example, Taylor 2022 said children in Kenya are face sexual exploitation and the use of both uh, and, the, uh, and the abuse uh, both online and uh, offline via smartphones or computers that often resulting in physical, sexual, or emotional violence in a person. Use of AI frequency for every activity may lose children's thinking capacity, for example, the use of chat GPT. AI can potentially cause or contribute to digital inequalities like the gender gap, or the divide between rich or and the poor, and the skills gap. Children's access to adequate uh, social, medical, and education services may be limited by these uh, differences. Uh, opportunities of AI. AI has a lot of offer in terms of personalized learning, adaptive feedback, uh, interactive games, and the problem solving and the treatment for children's health and education. Uh, children can be given the tools they need via AI to express themselves, interact with the others, and they take part in civic and the social issues. AI can help um, kid, kids become, become more innovative, uh, creative, and problem solvers, preparing them for the world of work and the hard at hood. Recommendations. I can say that it is true to have those rights for children, but we should uh, assess in depth which things are right for them to access to project their future lives. Also, it is better to train parents, children, caregivers, and the teachers the risks and the opportunities in by use of AI in order to advise children. Uh, it is advised the children should be involved in the design, uh, development, and the regulation of AI systems to ensure that technology is utilized in a way that uh, respects and advances their rights and their interests. I can also say that now is a good time to ask AI creators or developers and the programmers, if possible, uh, it is better to create restriction in AI devices uh, used by children that can sense children and restrict things that are not right for them to access in order to protect their future life. Thank you for listening.